even some quarter sized hail with some of these storms a little bit earlier. Now, one thing I want to point out, you're seeing a lot of different symbols showing up here on our storm tracker. Uh, this the lightning bolt, just an indication of a thunderstorm that may have some very heavy rain or some small hail. Uh, we've also seen the hail marker, as we call it. Uh, in fact, Scott, hey, let's go back down to that storm in Miami County uh, that was showing uh, the hail marker. Actually, hold it right here. I want to talk about this. Now, a lot of you are probably seeing this and you're seeing the arrows spinning around and these arrows spinning around. This is not, and I want to make this very clear, this is not telling us that this storm is rotating or has a tornado necessarily. This is the symbol to indicate some turbulent winds within the storm, and those are the type of winds that can come down to the ground and give you the strong gusts that we get not tornadic, just some very strong winds that we often have with tornadoes. So you'll see these symbols a lot. Uh, does not mean a tornado necessarily. We uh, briefly had that tornado symbol that did show up uh, back towards the Russell's Point area when that storm was there. Uh, that is the marker you'll see if Storm Tracker is uh, suspecting that there's a tornado in that particular area. So again, some very strong winds, and we'll see the hail symbol show up with these storms throughout the afternoon, evening as well. And that's going to be the main threat. Yes, we have a tornado warning for Logan County, but the main threat with these storms will continue to be strong winds and large hail. And we've had reports already across the area of gusts to 70 miles an hour and also uh, some hail uh, the size of quarters or even a little bit larger than that. Uh, back down into Miami County, this storm may be looking like it's weakening just a hair. Uh, now, as these storms, this, each time you get a storm and then a second Repair. storm moves in. That's 1-800-AIR. National Weather Service in Wilmington has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Green County and west central Ohio until 8.15 p.m. at 7.46 p.m. National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. This dangerous storm was located near Paintersville, moving east at 40 miles an hour. Locations in the path of the storm include Jamestown, in addition, Powersville, Bell Center, Rosemoo and Gladstone are near the path of this dangerous thunderstorm. If you are near the path of this storm, take cover now. Move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Mobile homes and vehicles should be abandoned for more substantial shelter. Avoid windows. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Thursday evening for southeastern Indiana and west central Ohio. A tornado watch also remains in effect until midnight Friday morning for southeast Indiana and northeastern Kentucky and southwestern Ohio. All right, tornado warning for southeastern Greene County and the cell that we're looking at looking very much like the one that we had in Logan County when we had the tornado uh, warning a little bit earlier on uh, back around 515 or so. So let's show you exactly where we're talking about. We're talking about the area uh, around Jamestown, uh, east of Shawnee Hills. Uh, this is in the far easternmost part of Greene County. Uh, those of you that head out east on US 35 and go to the outlets in Jeffersonville. Uh, that is the area uh, just uh, on the eastern part of your screen here. Uh, it's just to the west of there. And this is going to continue to head uh, off to the east at uh, about 30 or 40 miles an hour. Uh, we're going to continue to uh, track this. Uh, luckily, it's not going to be staying in Greene County all that much longer because it is moving east at about 40 miles an hour. So Bowersville, uh, Bell Center, Rosemore, Gladstone. And if you're watching us, from uh, areas just east of Greene County. Uh, that's also an area where there's going to be the potential for this tornado. So if you do live in these areas, you want to get to the lowest part of a, uh, of a building that you can, get to the basement if you can, and also um, get to uh, an interior room. If you don't have a basement, if you can get to a place of safety, that's going to be a good thing to do uh, as we are going to continue to uh, watch this very carefully. Again, uh, if, we could, uh, if I could have my director uh, get it set up so that I can be in our key wall uh, in front of the uh, storm tracker here. We can, uh, I think he just did it for me. Thank you very much, Don. Uh, it's going to be this area right here, right in this area. And again, this is just like what we were looking at earlier with Logan County. The winds coming around the rain, uh, bring the rain around this part of the storm 
wrapping it in, and it's going to be right in here that we have the potential for that rotation. Uh, luckily, this moving eastward, so we're almost talking about uh, the uh, eastern Greene County line right now, continuing to head east at what they're uh, indicating to be uh, right here. Now keep in mind that uh, the radar site, the National Weather Service radar, which is what we're looking at right now, is down to the south of here in Wilmington. So what we're going to be doing is uh, taking a look inside this storm, so to speak, as Scott Dean was just showing us, and taking a look at the winds within this storm. Uh, Scott, uh, I think you've, we've got you mic'd up. Uh, are you seeing anything as of yet? We don't have Scott's uh, microphone ready just yet. Uh, what we are looking at is these colors right here indicating motion away from the radar, which would be motion in that direction here, and perhaps some indication of winds coming back down to the south here to the east of Shawnee Hill. So right in this area here, the possibility that we may be seeing some uh, rotation with this particular storm. Scott, let's uh, flip it right back over to Live Doppler 7 radar uh, right now because we want to show you that. Notice the difference. National Weather Service was showing it back in here. With Live Doppler 7 radar, I would think maybe more right along the eastern Greene County line. Uh, and that's the uh, benefit of having a live radar. It's a few minutes faster in terms of the information that you're getting than the National Weather Service's radar. And uh, this storm is uh, probably a little bit uh, further to the east in terms of where we think the tornado may be. Now, this is looking a little bit more impressive than what we just From WDTM, this is a Storm Team 2 weather alert. This is Carl Nichols keeping you updated on the severe weather around the Miami Valley. We still have severe thunderstorms going on and uh, let me run down the warnings for you. Mercer County and Warren County until 730, Shelby until 745, Dark uh, and Auglaize County until 8 o'clock and a new one just came out for Greene County until about 8.15. First of all, let's take a look at the uh, line of severe thunderstorms coming into the Union City area and the Dark County area. This continues to race southeastward, so it will be affecting uh, Greenville, Versailles, Bradford within the next uh, 15 to 30 minutes as it continues to head rapidly southeastward. The potential for some hail and very strong winds. Also, it's part of a line which goes up into the Salina area, St. Mary's. You can see a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning strikes with this as well. Then we come over here and we've got this thunderstorm going up through the northeastern half of Shelby County. That's going to head on toward the Indian Lake area. That has uh, some large hail associated with it, along with some strong winds and a lot of uh, lightning. Coming south then, down toward the uh, Clark County area, and or down through Urbana, more thunderstorms. More thunderstorms in the Springfield area, and a new... This uh, also, this has just prompted a severe thunderstorm warning, along with the Greene County warning, so a line running from uh, the Springfield area down to Xenia, and you can see a lot of lightning strikes with this. So this also, the potential for large hail, damaging winds, winds could gust 50, 60 miles an hour as this line moves right on across Greene County and Clark County uh, from Springfield and Xenia eastward over the next 45 minutes. So a tornado watch also still in effect for all of the Miami Valley, we still will be under the gun of these severe thunderstorms for the next couple of hours. We'll continue to watch it. Updates as needed. Now back to programming. This has been a Storm Team 2 weather alert.